Uh, apparently, Markarth is one of the places where you can find hanging, hanging moss. Uh, why should you care about hanging moss? Um, hanging moss uh, uh, makes. Uh, let me see if I can remember the recipe. Uh, hanging moss plus. I think it's hanging moss plus uh, blue mountain flower plus um, butterfly wing makes a potion that, while not very useful, is extremely expensive and you can get a good price for it uh, if you sell it. So that's why you should care about whether you know uh, about um, uh, hanging moss. So apparently, Mark Arthur is one of those places where you can get the stuff. What's this here? The heck? Oh, the heck's here. If they have uh, uh, blue butterfly wing and um, uh, I mean blue blue mountain flower and butterfly wing, uh, I can show you. Oh wow, this place got lots of goods. I might have to do a little robin. The hag's cure is here for all your discreet needs. <laughs> My discreet needs. It comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, you let me know if you need a cure. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that off camera. Uh, and uh, then when I come back, we will uh, see if we can make that potion. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to see if they got the um, uh, uh, blue mountain flower and butterfly wing. Ah, so which you're is an a alchemist real, real common then. ingredients. And no, they don't. Now you may say, um, uh, why in the world would I, um, would you ever do alchemy? You know, when you're not there, now, you're... you let me know if you need a cure. Well, thank you. I else. will take your gold and your thunder cotton. And that's, uh, not, not for free. The hag's cure is here for all your discreet needs. Well, I appreciate that, madame. Yes, if you do some good things for uh, different uh, folks, they, um, they, especially merchants and stuff, they just let you um, take a few things. Not everything, though. I think you probably take this um, this little book with a herb of, uh, grain of salt here. Yeah, oh. it, it, it's a it's level it increased my uh, my uh, alchemy. So that's mainly what I was interested in. No juniper berries, death bell. I don't need a... no, I don't need that. Uh, and like I was saying, uh, you may, may go, why in the world do you troll that? That's fairly uncommon to get. There's uh, so much to learn about the shop. Yuri. I'll never get it all straight. I'm Bothella's assistant. She's the one you should talk to if you need an herb or a potion. Yeah, she's the one you do the uh, Dark Brotherhood quest for. Um, yeah, like, like I was uh, saying, um, you, you may think, why in the world would I bother with alchemy? Um, but, I mean, if you're you're winding up uh, low on cash, uh, you're start just like just starting out. You, you get a hold of some hanging moss, and the other two ingredients, butterfly wing and and uh, blue mountain flower, are real common. They get a few of those going together, and you got some some real uh, ready cash that you may really need to have at that moment. Uh, and then, uh, if you happen to get any giant's toes, giant's toes not 
Quite as easy to obtain since you have to obtain them often have to obtain, obtain them ooh imp stool from giants uh, which are don't don't want to give up their toes uh, but if, um, uh, but um, giants toe and wheat makes for a very uh, very valuable in terms of resale value uh, potion indeed um, where's the door here this, this way so yeah I mean most people a lot of people who would be go, would be gone look I'm 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 not playing Skyrim to, to become a chemist. I'm <laughs> I'm uh, doing it to um, kill things. That's all well and good, but every once in a while you need some cash, and that's one good way to do it. Uh, matter of fact, if you, as far as non-violent ways to to um, uh, get money in Skyrim, uh, those that's the the the, uh, the number one probably the number one thing. Uh, enchanting that yeah that's, that can be good too. You make a bunch of bunch of iron and daggers. Enchant them with something, uh, but uh, it can be um, uh, difficult to level enchanting. And also, every enchantment you get, you have to get a an item, an enchanted item for. Um, usually, you have to go go to some kind of dungeon or something to, to kill a bunch of critters to get that item. So, um, really, uh, alchemy is uh, easy money if you know what potions get you the most money. Just for grins, I'm going to explore this river a little bit. Uh, maybe you should stay here. Let's get going. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Yeah, so this 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 river here just screams. I'm I'm full of something. Full of something, dude. He's not. Unfortunately, I'm not full of anything. That's more shallow than I would have thought. Um, no secret. Uh, Panels, channels here. Well, shit. Okay. My vision got weird there for a second. Okay, well, there's a dead dude down here. And I hope nobody's drinking out of this thing. Uh. Alright, well that was kind of disappointing. Never mind. Uh, now, I, I probably could... Uh, I don't really have any any, tar any targets as far as assassination goes that I feel confident about um, about uh, achieving. Uh, I would like to practice pickpocketing a bit here in Markarth. It's a nice uh, uh, place for, for any kind of stealth activity. Um, but uh, and I would like to, to assassinate, try to assassinate that... Um, that silver blood dude at some point, but what I, I, I need a lot of right now is uh, I need uh, vampire dust uh, because you need that to make invisibility potions, which are very useful. For me, we going? Lead the way. So I think I'm going to go find some vampires. Oh, we got a dragon here over by the western watchtower. I came out here to walk to the where the uh, the dragon the, the uh, vampire lair was. Hey, dude! Shit or get off the pot. Is there anybody home? Are they all dead now? Could well be. All right, well, screw you. I'm gonna go about my business. You can choose to come after me if you want. There's a bad dick-looking dude approaching. I don't know whether he's um, hostile or. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Okay. <clears throat> really not wanting to get in your business. To be honest, I got my own business. Butterflies! Dragonborn chases butterflies all day.
Okay, what we're doing, looking for is a road. <clears throat> and when we find that road, we're going to go... Uh, I might as well pick up my arrow. We're going to go due west. Now, there may be other uh, obstacles along the way. Uh, well, this looks like this is it. Perhaps. Well, perhaps not. Thought I was going to west. Hello, giant. Where you at, Wolfie? Fuck you. Yep. <laughs> Messing with the wrong woman there. Okay, here we're getting west. Uh, and the, and that those happened. So we'll kind of try to avoid them. They can stop us into a um, mingly jam. Okay, sleeping tree camp. Uh, giants. Let's get going. Shush. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. No, this is not what I'm actually looking for. Uh, but uh, on the plus side, it can be relatively profitable. Experience. If I can avoid getting killed. Okay. Would really like not to be trapped in here. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate your business. There's a uh, giant right where I need to be. You head on off, giant. I will. I will wait for you. being very stealthy here. Right, there he is. A cave of some kind of... Whoa, dude. A cave of some kind of a gear as well. Probably not what I'm looking for, because I know the the uh, cave that has the uh, the thing the cave that has the thing is uh, over here, closer to that tree. Right here, in fact. Yep, 
He's pissed off. Okay. If he comes up here and he finds me, he's gonna smash me into a meaty, mealy pop. Oh. Hi there, beautiful. Uh, let's see if we can bring up some better arrows. Uh, let's bring up the orcish arrows. Good night, sweet prince. Giant's toe, orca show. Yeah. <coughs> Let's bring up my steel arrows again. My everyday working tool. I know you don't really want to see this, but you know it's, it's, it'll only take a second. Ah, oh, poor Ulag. Ulag had a bad day. bad life maybe. Certainly a bad day. Ooh. Loots. Those tree sleeping tree saps are worth a hundred a piece from uh, a solda. And that's all sellable loot, pretty much. I don't think I need any of it. Uh, you, you you actually can't pick up these um, these giant clubs. Uh, you can get a follower to pick them up. I don't know what what their benefits are as a weapon, though. Be amusing to see, anyway. I think, I think Eartha Gertha might appreciate having a giant club, but. Uh, Everything's cool, everything's copacetic. Nobody's trying to kill me. Okay. Hi guys. We All going? Right. Lead the way. Let's get out of these uh, giant people's ways. And then head west. These giant peoples. Uh, I think that may be the, where the cave is that I'm looking for. That has vampires. And again, I'm interested in vampires, not because I have some sort of uncontrollable desire to kill vampires, although they're kind of nasty in their own way. Uh, but because they had, they dropped vampire dust. Uh, F5 here. Uh, they have dropped vampire dust, which can be used to make potions of invisibility. Which are pretty damn useful.
Uh, and this, uh, from what I've heard, this can be a pretty nasty little cave to go through. Uh, definitely gonna want to be doing some stealth, stealth action. And catching butterflies. Hello. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. And spontaneous explosions of uh, of carts. There's a cave here. Perfect. No shit, Eartha Gertha. Hideout for bandits. Or worse. In this case, worse. Worse. All right. Let's uh, creep down. Uh, let's do a hard save. Yeah, could be interesting. Could be deadly. Okay, Eartha Gertha? Whoa! I'm still here. Right here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Uh, my shoes should already be muffled. I think it's only 0.5 muffle. So we'll just be extra sure. These uh, vampires and their thralls should be pretty soft targets if you hit them before they know you're there. If you don't, you got a problem. Got a potential problem. I want you to turn around and go back where you were. And while she's doing that, I'm going to look around, see if there are any other combatants aside from that skeleton over there. Yeah, that's just perfect. Right, right there. Vampire dust. What I'm looking for. But I need to charge a weapon. Yeah, the blade of woe. Uh, I really don't want to use a grand soul gem for that. That's what I've got. What I wanted to do. Not in the slightest. Not at all. No, 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 no. Nobody's uh, taking any attention to that. That's good. I don't know if there's supposed to be a vampire in there or not. <clears throat> but I'm not planning on knocking on this door to find out. There's a coffin right there, which... Again, leads me to believe that well, they would have popped down if I, if I, after I did the boost rod up, right off. Uh, that would have made them come out, so. I'm pretty sure. My display is getting weird again. Okay. <coughs> okay, how aware are you guys, I wonder? You 
pretty weary. Someone there? Nobody's here. Yeah, he's pretty sharp. He's not uh, <clears throat> not easy to sneak up on. What we will do. Uh, uh, since we're probably only going to get him uh, a second before he's aware that we're around. We like it, uh huh, uh huh. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh. Vampire dust, which is what I'm looking for. I'll take the rest of your shit too, though. Uh, Venom. Always good to have. Human heart, unfortunately not human flesh. <coughs> it's a strange thing. Uh, human flesh, you would think, would be one of the most common commodities in Skyrim. Unfortunately, it is not. Soul gem, yeah, buddy. Vampire dust. Vampire dust. There we go. And frost salts. So we got three vampire dust out of the deal. <coughs> Which is not really ideal. Uh, better than kicking the head, though. <coughs> Certainly didn't cost me any blood. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, alteration. Mage light. Oh, that just that just sticks it over there. Okay. Uh, but we do it over here. Unfortunately, my character is not a Khajiit and doesn't see in the dark. Again, that's mostly just going to be turned in, into into loot, into money. Don't really have a use for a ring of magicka, per se. Don't use that much of it. Bloody rags. Okay. That was it. Really. A 
well, that's unfortunate. But I did get I did get some of my the vampire dust I was looking for out of that. Don't need anything there. Alrighty then. I guess what? Ooh, what? Where? I guess we will. Uh, I'll go back to White Run, <coughs> get that shit sold off, uh, and then. Uh, I'm assuming this is the end of it, of this level, I think it is. I don't see any other ways in or out. Uh, we'll put up our alchemy ingredients. Seriously, it's just a coffin, but it's got nothing, no, nothing in it. All right, whatever. Okay, well, I'm gonna go <coughs> sell off my crap. Hello, everybody, and a time for another alchemy with Bob uh, from my uh, luminous uh, alchemy. Uh, so I've got plenty of mountain fire, right? Yeah, two of those. Just that's enough for a demonstration. Okay, and we need some wheat. Yeah, we have wheat. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to show you that um, that potion uh, that's uh, very profitable. This is the one if you have uh, giant's toe. You can often find giant's toe in um, alchemist store for dirt cheap, which is strange considering that it makes one of the most expensive potions in the, the game. But you can actually uh, sometimes it's not a common ingredient, but you can find it sometimes in um, uh, uh, alchemy stores. Uh, uh, and, and when you can find it, it's pretty cheap. As you can see here, the retail value of this potion that I'm making is 589 bucks. Now you're only you're probably get half of that or less, depending on what your speechcraft's like. Uh, but um, uh, in any case, it's a very, very valuable potion. Go ahead and crack that. Now, one that's very much easier to get the ingredients for is uh, blue mountain flower, butterfly wing, and hanging moss. That's worth 394 retail, so half of that, uh, or less, or less or more, depending on your speechcraft. Oh, You're home. I'm home. I got you a present, Papa. Well, thank you. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Longbow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you've not seen any of my, the bows I actually use, huh, girl? Uh. Let's see, and also, you know, one last thing. Uh, we want to have um, a Luna Moth Wing. We're only going to make, make one of these pictures, well, we just need, just use, need one of them. Okay. And we're going to combine. Luna Mothwing and Vampire Dust, making a potion of invisibility. Okay, a few alchemy tips and tricks, um, a very useful and or profitable uh, items. The, the, the invisibility one I'm not going to be selling, I'm going to be using that uh, myself. But the other two uh, are for sale and they're, they're going to be uh, fairly profitable for me. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the this this is the woman who sent that or that orc to die in that uh, giant cavern. I found this note on Ulag's body. Did you? So Ulag didn't make it past those giants. No, then. he's dead. More's the pity. If you found any of the sap, I'd be willing to pay you the same cut I offered him. You, you're <laughs> better price than you're likely to find otherwise. Your moment of grief is touching. Ah, of course. How much have you got? Very good. Be sure to bring any more sleeping tree sap you find to me. All right, six hundred bucks. It's more than I actually thought. How the tree came to grow there is a bit of a mystery. Some say that when Vardenfell erupted, a piece was blown to the middle of Skyrim, and from the crater grew the tree. I've also heard that it was a spore that fell from an island floating in the sky, but that just sounds like nonsense. 
All I know is that the sap makes you feel as healthy as a cave troll, but slow as a drunk horker. And that it fetches good coin. See you. Yep. Yeah, your, your grief for poor Ulog is touching. <laughs> Set this guy off to fight troll, to fight the giants. Uh, I think he was fairly, as it turns out, inadequate for it. Oh, where's Heimsker? Heimsker is not around. I would have harassed him if he was around. Uh, yes, her grief uh, is uh, is fairly evident uh, at the loss of poor Ulog or whatever his name was. It's like, oh, he's dead. Do you have the tree sap? Yes. <laughs> uh, this is Urthagirtha's house. House that I'm that she's never in. She's always at the bar. Um. That's a really nice, that's about the nicest fireplace I've seen in Skyrim. So that part of the house is really nice. The carrots on the floor, not so much. Uh, I'm sure she probably doesn't have any loot to speak of. A few books. Surprised to know she's read. She can read. I've seen more brawn than brain. She has a few books scattered about. Probably some useless stuff here. Not even gonna bother to take her gold because she's obviously uh, not a rich woman. We're we'll looking to see the secrets of Eartha Griffin's life. It's a very small house, but actually quite a quite a handsome little house, uh, especially the um, the dining room area. Of course, there's no actual cook pot there, but then she spends her entire life at the inn, so it doesn't really matter. She doesn't even sleep. Okay, so a little inside insight into the to, into the life of Eartha Gertha, the house she never goes to. But you can once you once you're you're friends with her, you can sleep in her bed. And, you could uh, take her meager gold even if you wanted to, but I don't want to. Okay. I'm here at my house in Morthal. I'm probably going to at some point move the family over here. Uh, although that has potential problems because uh, bandits can actually kidnap your wife. Of course, with Lydia being here, probably uh, that's not as likely. But um, uh, but I may may at some point um, move the family out here because uh, uh, White Run's pretty crowded. Uh, I mean, white, uh, uh, freeze hunt was pretty crowded. Uh, I've recorded about an hour now. Um, that's probably more than enough. Uh, I'll probably try to find a, find a way to uh, trim that down a bit somewhere. Uh, but uh, I guess that's probably all for right now. Back here, you. Uh, and until next time, hasta la vista. Adios. It is a creepy place out here. It is very strange, creepy. Not sure it's that good for kids, but I mean, Freesum is really, really crowded. So, okay. Bye. I probably am going to actually keep on playing, <laughs> actually, strangely enough, but um, I just have so much recorded now uh, that uh, it's time to wrap it up. So, goodbye. Okay, just one quick, uh, quick last thing. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try a sneak attack on a, um, <laughs> a giant. This might not work out that well. It worked. You can keep the iron helmet. Wow.
I done sneak kill the giant. Sweet. Okay. Well, that was all. <laughs> Just wanted to show you my either my death or my success. <laughs>